Good afternoon and welcome to my hometown, Letchworth, global headquarters of Autoglim. Uh, as an Autoglim ambassador, I've been very kindly invited to the Autoglim Academy uh, to detail my Lotus Elise track bar. These guys behind, we've got photography, marketing guys and our, our Autoglim expert here who's going to show us uh, all the specifics and details about detailing a track car specifically, make this looking as pretty as it possible when it hits the track. So let's jump in the bay and um, start learning. First things first, health and safety. Today we're going to look at a number of Autoglim products, starting with the custom wheel. Surface, just in case it dries out on these streaks, so we're just going to work with this way around. We're not going to get the tyre as well, so we want to get some on there. That's it. So if you're sort of putting caution to the wind, you tend to leave the side, give it time to break down as much as you can, give it a rinse, then reapply a product and then agitate it the second stage. Because potentially if it was a more substantial wheel, you'd be putting metal off, mm. then rubbing the metal in, doing okay. it in the first instance. But as it's not as bad, we can start just by giving a little bit of a tickle. It's a nice soft natural hair brush as well. So it's not harsh, it's not a coarse bristle. So we can just give a little bit of rubbing down, get a good clean out of it. This won't create a shine, so it's not going to add anything to it. It's just going to strip back what's on you. Yeah, just get a nice clean wheel at the end. When you wash your car at home, David, do you use a pressure washer or are you more hose guys? Uh, no, hose and uh, yeah. Yeah, man. With these, sponge you one. You can't be running huge pressure around them. Uh, the notice your windows are open as well. <laughs> cautious on those, yeah. <laughs> It's a Lotus, it doesn't make that much difference whether they're open or shut. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's good. I don't think I've got a lot. Rinse it up as well. Yeah. Cool. Give it a nice rinse. If you've got a brush to hand that can get right into the back end of the wheel, then it's always a plus to do that. So first product used, custom wheel cleaner, uh, starting on a dry wheel uh, as that is for best results. Cold wheel as well as a warmer wheel uh, as it's been used for example uh, straight after a circuit track, track day uh, session or whatever uh, can potentially damage the wheel. Uh, so this is not um, an acid uh, base cleaner as uh, this is a competition car it's uh, the wheels are there for a, a serious purpose they're being put under serious strain etc therefore the acid can potentially break down the the rim um, prime example of this is a split rim as the acid uh, can get in between uh, the bolts uh, where you can't quite clean it all out it's going to tend to damage break down the wheel which could end up in a mechanical failure so in a motorsport purpose and track day purpose uh, using acids not the best recommendation. This isn't an acid base, therefore the perfect item, uh, perfect product for it. Here we're using the active insect remover. Simply spray on the front to remove any uh, insects that have been splattered over the front of the car. Uh, leave to for it to break down the insects for a few minutes and then simply rub off. As you'll see later on in this clip, you can pretty much use your finger to get rid of the bugs. Um, no more elbow grease needed. Tickle it off. Yeah, just, just get a little flip. <laughs> 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 down pretty quickly. So you guys will have what they call sponge bugs, uh, bug, uh, bug sponges, mm -hmm. and I'll go around and rub those off. Uh, but generally we tend to stick to a sort of car sponge. That's your bug style of things you keep on. But it's broken down to a point where it's manageable. Obviously you've got a film on as well, it's a bit more porous than your paint. Right. So it's going to hold on to that splatter as well. Yes. So make sure we 
can get as much out of it. So yeah, I mean obviously if you've got little bits inside little chips. Yeah. Bugs is as a hobby. Yeah, it's yeah. gone. So, I mean all we've got left now is just what's left in the film or if it's sold in place already. Anything that I've missed could pick up in the shampoo. Snow foam done, power wash done, that's now uh, agitated and removed all of the um, uh, majority of the dirt, the majority of the defects are lying on top of the surface. Uh, anything left now is solvent based, so we've got um, oil or um, tyre rubber or something like that. Uh, but now we're going to put shampoo on the car um, to really get down and um, get it looking nice and tidy. Get rid of absolutely everything before we uh, yeah, start um, scrubbing it at all. Per litre? For us, we get away with four caps per ten, and we get the same foam content. But it's all about sort of having that look, that that really velvety, luxurious, sort of thick, dense foam, but also have a really cool fragrance while you're using it. Mm -hmm. So we'll crack on with that. Cold or warm water doesn't really matter. It's only up to you. Real man uses salt. Yeah. It's always cold. It's always cold, man. You have to move through the house to get my hot. I'm not showering out all point. Melted rubber as well, really good for that. So, go. so it's going to pop some on first. It's all loaded onto that area. Now to see if it'll break it down. And it's already doing a number on that section. Wow. Come on there. Easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember using this to clean glue off the floor of my, my golf. I was stripping it. That's it man. <laughs> so that's that. Pretty straightforward. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Go straight to the rub. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. Pat it on. Pat it in. Give it a little bit of time to kind of do its thing. Let's see how much of this is going to come out because it's quite, quite heavy. Yeah. Mm. This is a uh, heavy area. Have a tie rubber. See you later. Come down. Yeah, you're going to struggle to get that so much. Yeah. Yeah. Smudgy smudge. Just about get it. Don't need a massive amount. And then just give it a... Yeah, one there. So I'm overrunning it onto your sort of satin areas as well. Mm. So that'll help pick that up. The rest of it should be clean, but... Does that take more. the rain -X off as well? It shouldn't touch the rain -X. Okay. Um, but, you know, using anything... That out. No, I don't think it's going to go any any flatter than that. Right. But at least we know we've got everything out if it hasn't changed. So yeah. And here we have the final piece: dried, shampooed, degreased, and it looks factory fresh I think is the best way to describe it. The thing that stands out to me most is the um, using the glass cleaner on the satin um, finished areas of the car. It really takes out the the shininess of uh, that's that's 
the shininess that you would normally associate on uh, a more metallic finish like the the paintwork in itself and i think on a car like this it adds a huge amount of contrast between it and it makes both areas stand out so much it makes the, the matte stand out more and it makes the metallic stand out more uh, and overall gives that super aggressive look that uh, the car is ultimately trying to uh, achieve and ultimately trying to finish a big shout out to uh, the horse Game academy trainer ryan for all his uh, insight and knowledge um, i hope when i look back at all this footage that uh, all of the information is covered uh, both from his description and my description as well uh, and yeah that is a complete now uh, track ready car um, ready to go next time around ready to go and get dirty next time around all over again the, the whole procedure has probably taken about um, an hour hour and a half or so so it's not even like i spent the whole day in here making it look this good this is purely ryan who knows what he's doing and the products that are clearly uh, market leading doing exactly what they say on tin uh, to produce a quality uh, finished product the only thing i can uh, uh, say negative is, is the fashion sense really but apart from that so all health and safety stuff so big thank you to auto glim uh, for having me uh, and making me part of the uh, ambassador scheme and i hope to bring you some more uh, content uh, from the auto glim academy from the auto glim products uh, in the near future so make sure you uh, comment on anything that you want to know about um, auto glim products any demonstrations uh, that we can uh, we can use on on this particular car or that we can walk you through uh, that will help you guys out so yeah make sure you like and subscribe for more videos to come and uh, we'll catch up later ciao ciao Probably be